All right, welcome YouTube. This is going to be a tutorial on how to create an Angular app on your DigitalOcean server. All right, right now I'm in my Angular, I'm not Angular, I'm in my DigitalOcean homepage and in one of my servers with an IP address. This IP address is important, so, but um, we're going to focus on that later. First off, I'm already SSH into my server um, and I'm in a I'm into a folders with testing and angular you can see this in my win SCP I have a testing folder with um, several folders for angular PHP and react we're going to angular folder and we're going to one specific explorer called ang so what we're going to try to do is first um, install angular in ang so I'm already in the ang folder and what I need to do is in PMI which is npm install dash g which is global and I think you first install the angular cli so angular dash cli I think this is how you do it now the first time I did this um, this didn't work at all and the reason why it didn't work um, uh, there was a couple of reasons why I think the first two reasons was because I didn't have um, NPM the latest version of NPM and the latest version of node so but I've actually updated my NPM so my latest version at this moment is 6.9 and I'm talking about angular 7 so you might watch this in the future and it'll be you'll be up to angular 24 so maybe this this information will not even matter but at this moment 6.9 um, for NPM and node that should be this is how you look at your version 8.9 this is what you need for angular version 7 so once I have that installed I believe the next thing you can now do is hit ngn new and then you type in whatever folder you want the app to be called let's call it ang app so we put ng new ang app this creates a new angular folder it's going to ask if you want routing i'm just going to put yeah why not and it's going to ask for a style sheet and i'm going to hit okay for a sass and it creates all this crap and while this other stuff is loading all right so everything loaded and 1089 packages have been inserted into ang app so if i do ll you'll see ang app and if you go into win scp oh shit you see ang app and if i click on it you'll see all the angular glory now if i actually go into ang app with my um in the terminal ang app and then i hit uh ng serve ng serve should start the development server um, which allows you to just look at angular or start angular so once i hit ng serve in angap in the actual angular folder all right it's going to compile and right now it's saying it's listening on um localhost uh port 4200 now let's uh just compile this and show you that localhost in 4200 doesn't mean shit <laughs> especially if you're on digital ocean why because it will only make sense if you're doing it on your personal server but since you're using somebody else's server using digital Earth ocean server um, you're never going to be able to see it uh, so you have to actually um, change the host and the host uh, the host number and the port well sometimes you could change the port number but most importantly you have to change the host number or the host IP address so if I actually try to do localhost 4200 Hold on here, you're going to see the results. Localhost 4200. Let me do HTTP. HTTP dash slash. And as you see here, nothing happens because this is not on my personal computer. This is an on DigitalOcean server. So, in order um, to actually view the Angular app, you have to change some things in the settings. The way you do that is you go to Ang app and you click on Angular Adjacent. All right, let me close some things down. And if you are actually using 
um, Adam, what you need to do is hit Control F or um, Command F and hit, you know, Surf. And now you're on line 62. Line 62 of Surf, there is a secondary, there's an option inside Surf called Options. And you need to add two properties. If you want to add two properties, I'm going to add host and port. So host is most important. And within host, you have to add a string and put four zeros. You have to do zero dot zero. Oops. Dot zero dot zero. And then you're going to add port if you want to change the port. We're going to do it for this exercise. Port um, colon and we're going to call it 1738. We're going to change the port to 1738. Now that should save. And I want to do Control S C. I'm sorry, uh, to stop it from running, and then serve it again. Ng serve, and we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Now you do see the changes. It's listening on zero 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 zero, and on port seventeen thirty eight. But let's wait till it all compiles and see what happens. So it's compiled successfully. Now let's actually go to HTTP slash zero dot zero zero dot zero and then put port seventeen thirty eight, and nothing happens. So there's a couple of reasons why. The first reason is I did not allow the port seventeen thirty eight to even be able to uh, be able to be served on that port number, and secondly. You have to replace 000 with your actual IP address. So what would actually be a good idea to do is this. But again, you're not going to be able to actually even look at the app because the port 1738 wasn't allowed. So let's could do control C and let's do a command called sudo UFW status numbered. Okay, so UFW is uncomplicated firewall. Um, this allows you to listen on certain ports, and I have a number of ports opened up. Actually, I think I have 1738 allowed. Let's see what happens. If I roll, wait. Well, let me see here. Let's let's just just in case. Pseudo. Um, UFW allow 1738 rule added skipping adding existing rule okay because it already exists interesting so let's do ng serve again and we're just gonna wait till all this stuff compiles Now it's compiled successfully and it should go. And it does go. And it's funny because the rule is already added, as you see here, 1738. Uh, I thought I deleted it for some reason, but I guess I didn't delete it. In any case, see now your Angular app is run and it actually details the name of the folder that you created, Ang app, which I named. So that's all there is to it. Nothing to it but to do it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to end it right here.